Well, I don't know, but see, I wore some clothes that matched up with what he had. And one of the places that I went to, one of his hangouts, uh, there's one person that took me for him. Okay, okay. And it's another thing. I mean, you know, the people that I've questioned, I mean, they don't feel any guilt. The fact is, a lot of them are relieved that he's gone. Now, what I'm saying is, if any of them were responsible for his disappearance, it'd be some type of guilt to something, you know, lead me towards their way. Maybe to think that they had something to do with it, but I, I'm not getting that type of response. So what you're saying that they ain't showing that they're guilty for maybe getting rid of him or maybe killing him or whatever. That's exactly what I'm saying. Look, uh, you know going to enjoy uh, yourself and all. Uh, I'll get back. I've been making a round of the river, the farmer's market, and the park. And so far, I've come up with nothing. Well, you know, you got two choices. You can either stay with it or just give up. But I would suggest that you stay with it. You might come up with something. Just take your time. Chuck hasn't found out anything. Well, it looks to me like this is one of the places where they found one of those deadbeat dads. Well, uh, I guess we need to start looking it up. Good idea. Take it from right here. Okay. Well, sure, Sergeant Scott thinks there's bad and foul play. Now he thinks it's a hobo killer, a hobo that rides the rails and comes back and kills again. It's like that case in Texas. Until you and Sergeant Scott find me a dead body, we gotta put first things first. Well, how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right today. I see you got that dog on a short chain today. Yeah, he's been he's been kind of bothering people today. That pity bone a little bit shorter chain. You must be us come. Yeah, I kind of figured that that you had a lot of stuff to talk to me about. Well, uh, what uh, have you found out about Will? Uh, we've kind of found out that he's out of state. That he's over towards uh, Tennessee somewhere. That he's been uh, gambling, had a big old gambling debt, you know. Yeah. That uh, he was trying to get that off his back. But he just ain't he ain't come home yet. And, but he said he was kind of gonna come home, but it's gonna take him a while. Well, you know, one thing that we know he's still alive. Yeah, at least yeah. we know he's still alive. I thought maybe somebody might have killed him for sure. But, yeah. You know. He he was a physical person. If they'd done it physically, off, uh, it'd been hard to get by with by the law, you know. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I'll, I'll be checking with you. Okay. You know, Officer Denbo, uh, winter is past and the spring is here, and we're the dead standstill. The information we got on Wheel is just not accurate. He could be in Tennessee. He could be in the bottom of the river. He could be anywhere, but I just don't think it's in law enforcement. I just don't think that uh, possibly a officer came out to arrest him and he refused to go. 
And, well, they're trying to cover it up. I don't think so. You know, if there is foul play, if it's someone within law enforcement, they would be on top of the game. That we don't need. If they knew that we were onto them, by now they would be going in another direction. Something we don't need. Well, uh, that might be what the problem is now. They might just be going in another direction. You know, I agree, but we need to find a suspect so we can turn him over to Big Chuck and let him handle him. He'll get the job done. He'll definitely get some answers. Look, I told you, we need the information now. Get the point today. We need the information today. You understand our position with this case? It's too important on us. Now is the day, right now, today. The information is needed today. Will was a, a professional gambler at cards. Uh, sometimes when he'd lose up to two hundred dollars, he would just keep on and keep on to he'd win his money back. Well, what I'm saying is, uh, did he actually intimidate the people until they let him win his money back? Yeah, he would intimidate them, and, and he'd keep on playing, you know, to he'd gradually win his money back. Well, that's something I need to know now. You're talking about if he actually pressured the people in case he met a gambler as good as him, uh, that could have led to something. Yeah, it could have, could But he'd go about every, every gambling place and play cards. If he'd like, you know, he'd lose $200, he'd pressure, keep on pressuring them, keep on playing so he'd win his money back. Well, let's just follow that lead and see what we can come up with. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Chuck, did you get the information out of them you needed? Yes, I believe I got all the information I needed from the fellow. I bet, I bet you did. You take a lot of pride in it.
I talked with a man in the park that knew Will personally. Both shared an interest in model trains. Yet, uh, he hasn't seen Will recently. And the boaters, uh, they found a body in the bottom of the river. It don't mean it's Will, I mean, the body hasn't been identified yet. I just like what what's going on. You know, it could be people that know him, or we got people knowing that uh, we're looking for him. It could bring out some response. Yeah, maybe if we had something to put up on a poster or something of his picture or something, maybe somebody would notice him. Well, that's true, but you know, there's uh, different people here that I feel that have known him. And, uh, I feel if they feel we're looking for them, we get some type of reaction that could give us a clue. Yeah, yeah, sure would. At least maybe where he went and where he's been. By better judgment, I think we should call in the forensic team. I feel we've got nothing to lose with the arrangements we've got with the taxpayers. It won't cost that much money. You know, they don't expect foul play. They want to go on with a funeral, get him in the ground. It's a pretty good, clear case of just deadbeat dads running from the law, just too sorry to help their families. They just want to stay gone, hook up with some girl, mm. and when things go and the money go, yeah. here they come back home, they'll show back up. Yeah. You know, I've seen it over and over. That's, yeah. That's what happens. In many cases, the same yes, it is. scenario happens. Uh, until we find some corpses or something, I say it's just a case of. Uh, uh, being gone and wanting to be gone. No, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Very true. There was a body uh, found in the river, but it wasn't Will Simmons. It was a deadbeat dad uh, running from responsibility. Running from child support. It's been investigated. They don't know if it's a natural drowning, or it was suicide, or a man was throat in the river. It wasn't Will Simmons. I understand that Will worked for the both of you. And what can you tell me about it? You go ahead and have yourself a good lunch. I'm gonna just walk on out and check the fields. Take care of yourself now. When it all amounts to it's not the body of 